Hello everybody, so in today's video, you're gonna learn how to download and install Feather Client and run Minecraft 1.21.4 using Feather Client as well. Take it away! So, as with any Minecraft modification or launcher, you're going to want to open up your browser. I'm going to be using Chromium for this, you can use any other browser and it will work just as well. Except if you're running something like Internet Explorer in 2024. So, once you're here, you're going to want to type in Feather Client. And you'll have this top result, FeatherMC.com, right here. And you just go over to download for Windows. Assuming you are, of course, on Windows. And now if you look up here, you'll see it is now downloading. So let's wait for this to download. And as you can see, Fever Client is now almost finished installing. You can also see downloads as an exe instead of a jar file or anything else, as this is a bigger modification than just, you know, a regular Minecraft mod. And this does take longer to validate, but now that it's validated, you can just close your browser and go into your file explorer. It looks something like this, assuming you're on Windows 10 or Windows 11. And if you go over to your downloads folder or whichever folder you have designated as your specific downloads folder, you may use music or documents or any custom folder or you have multiple downloads folders like me. But once you go into your downloads folder, you'll see Fever Launcher Setup. So you just double click this. It'll give you a pop up. You just click yes on this pop up. And now we wait. Once it's done downloading, it will just throw you into Fever. It will just throw you into Fever Client. And once you're in, you'll see a screen somewhat like this. So what you, the first thing you're going to want to do is go over to add account and add Microsoft account and type in your Microsoft accounts credential. So as you can see, I'm now logged in and you can see the GUI is a bit messed up. That is because all of the files didn't execute properly because this was opened right after the install was finished. So what you're going to want to do in this case is just close and close it and open it back up. And that will fix all of your issues. If you run into this, it's not even guaranteed that you run into this. And there we go. So if you click on this, you're able to change versions. We're just going to click the newest one. And if we go over to mods, we can even download mods. So as you can see, it will take you to a mods folder that you can just put mods inside of. So if you have any mods as jar files, for example, for fabric launcher or for the fabric loader, then just throw those in here and they will work just fine assuming it's the correct version so you can just click close and by default it runs on optifine and so if we change this 1.21.4 fabric you can see it runs on nothing you can also just download straight from here so for example if i want sodium i can just click add and if I want iris shaders, I can just click add. There we go. And now, also it downloads directly from Modrenv. And now, I can just go over to this Fever thing. It will take you directly to play. And we can just launch Fabric. So once you are in the actual game, it'll say free Discord cloak or whichever thing is important enough to be a banner add right on the home screen at the time so you can just click x and now if you go into multiplayer for example i'm just going to open up hypixel so as you can see we are now in fact on hypixel and you can see this little badge above my nickname right next to the vip rank it's the fabric client logo so you will be able to see other fabric client users just in general now not a lot of people actually use this so I do appear to be the only one in this lobby with Fever client but it is what it is we're just going to go over to Bedwars the Bedwars lobby 
and we're just gonna go over to this on PC and go into practice so we can show some more of the features so the first thing that you probably already noticed is the FPS counter on the side you also have a thing that tracks whether you're sprinting or not and we have a ping right up here it shows our ping so if we go into feather settings we can change a lot of the stuff here if we go over to social for example we can start a conversation and get friends on feather client itself and you're also able to chat with them even when you're not on the same server if we go over to feather settings once again and go over to cosmetics you can see there's some capes that you can get there's some other stuff that you'll need to purchase a lot of the stuff is just stuff that you have to purchase and uh yeah that's how you download install and use feather client in 2024 slash 2025 and how to get it working on minecraft version 1.21.4 so don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos just like this one. If you have any suggestions for other videos that we should make, then just leave that in the comments and we'll probably do it. Yeah. Bye.